Hey guys, welcome back to Sabres Forever. I'm John, and today we're going to be going over the graph flex as seen in The Rise of Skywalker. This is an absolutely gorgeous representation of the hill. I have seen no closer that's better, and uh, I'm just really eager to show it off. So why don't we jump right in, and I'll show you exactly what's going on. All right, and so this is the Graflex, the Rise of Skywalker version. Um, obviously, if you've not seen the movies, which if you're watching this, I'm guaranteeing you probably did, you know that the saber was ripped apart. And in the Rise of Skywalker, it's got this new clamp section to signify that it was... Um, repaired and riveted back together and whatnot. So there's these faux rivets here. Um, the interesting thing is that this still opens like a flash cell. This is um, a vintage replica flash cell kit from KR Sabres. Uh, so you actually get the T-grips, all the rivets, this clamp section, and the... Um, vintage replica parts uh, just all assembled and sent to you. Uh, you actually do need to assemble the leather and there's some magnets holding the um, clamp card in. That is necessary because this screw up here and the screw down here uh, basically secure these top and bottom parts of the Graflex into this section, which is honestly rather nice because normally you have the lever from the normal graph, uh, Graflex clamp, and since you don't have that and this is stationary, uh, obviously they needed a fix, and they attached um, grub screws with plastic tips as to not mar the metal, and it grabs these parts really well. So. It's tight right now, and honestly, you really only need to, to loosen the bottom grub screw. So you would loosen this, and immediately I felt it get loose, and it is very loose. And it allows you to just easily remove the bottom. So this is the, the Rise of Skywalker version, so this T-grip has the slot cut out to put on your belt. Um, and then the bottom is nice and smooth and the actual uh, weathering on here so the kit comes with a stencil and you just take a dremel with a round bit rotary bit and just dig into the areas where the stencil is exposed which Roy from Wanawanga um, mapped out and uh, it gives you a really great look now Cal also from KR Sabres has a how-to video on how to apply the stencil and use it. And halfway through the video, he kind of decides, you know, the, there's an outer stencil that can be or removed, like a secondary inner one, rather, that would be for the blackening where the welds get dark. And so uh, he ended up removing it and just freehanding it, and I liked the way it looked, so I just did the same thing. This is simple enamel, black and gray um, enamel, like matte, and then dabbed on here with a brush and taken off and reapplied multiple times. Uh, I would be careful handling this area, like it can withstand obviously being handled, but like any kind of fingernails or anything sharp is going to scratch it. Um, but easy enough, just get some spray paint, spray it onto like a little piece of paper and just get a brush and just dab those areas if it ever looks displeasing. So that being said, there's a lot to get through. <laughs> this otherwise from being a The Last Jedi uh, replica is no different than um, any of the other Graflex Master Chassis installs that I've done. I did something different where I um, made the Greebly here stationary. And normally this is the auxiliary, but I went with a single button setup this time around. And honestly, it makes my life a lot easier. And the functionality for single button setups is pretty phenomenal these days. Uh, so I'm just, that's the only thing that's really different about this master chassis setup. Um, but everything else is the same. I have the regular setup where you just remove the glass eye, 
Yeah. <clears throat> and then this pulls right out to reveal the master chassis. And this has the KR Sabres Elite blade holder and a Profi, um, Profi V3 and a Bluetooth module. And let's turn it on. <laughs> uh, there is also a stock NPXL V3, two accent Neo pixels under each crystal. The crystals are genuine quartz. Let's see if we can get a shot of that before I turn it on. There we go. Pretty cool. There's uh, five LEDs under here, or NeoPixels, 28 millimeter bass speaker. There's your Profi and everything in there, and the stock. Really cool. Let's turn it on. So you also have your high amp kill switch. And then this is um, just a plug. I got fat fingers, so I need a tool. Okay. So you have your recharge port right here. This just is removed. And you can plug it in your um, 3.7 volt charger. That is uh, critical to know because this is not a removable battery. It is in there and you cannot remove it, so it's hardwired, and you have a kill switch. So I leave the cap just because it looks nice, and I leave it in the on position. It's a twist on, twist off. So if you wanted to use that and this high amp kill switch wasn't installed originally, then you know you would just, sorry, you would just um, twist this, but you've got a high amp kill switch, so. I need someone to show me my place in all this. Close that. There's the crystals facing each other. Really nice. Close this back up. Refocus. Now, as I said, this is a single button setup. So the only button is under here. Uh, so you would just And it looks really nice just out of the uh, saber all lit up. Here, another thing is you get the engine kind of effect down there, which is neat. And this is the last Jedi Graflex sound font by Kyberphonic. copyright strikes <laughs> love John Williams though just nails it every time um, so this can just go I'm gonna actually turn this off while I do this but put this in here and you're gonna want to line up the hole with the hole so pretty easy and then once that is in there put the glass eye back in and obviously you can turn it on without removing the chassis, so I you've got... Someone to show me my place in all this. Put the bottom back on. Make sure your alignment is correct. Take this off. Tighten this back up. And... Yeah. <laughs> 
So the Saber's got a few other Graflex fonts on here, um, and it just is one of my favorites. I uh, hadn't done any of the last, I'm sorry, the Rise of Skywalker. Uh, so this is the first one that I've actually tackled, um, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out, honestly. I everything worked out great. <laughs> so these are now available on my shop should anybody want one. Um, and I'm more than happy to uh, answer any questions about these. But uh, this fits a one inch blade. So you, and the blade retention screw is right there. Uh, it's actually this comes with a flathead for accuracy, but it does not reach to a blade plug or a blade, so I actually put in a 1.5 millimeter um, Allen head, Allen wrench tool button head screw. So you can tighten your blade plug or blade into the saber. So that does it for this video. Why don't we just wrap it up right here? All right, guys, that does it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to see more awesome content featuring sabers like this one. There's definitely more videos that I'll be uploading in the very near future, so don't miss out, like, and subscribe. If you have any inquiries about commission work or the content that you've seen on my YouTube, please feel free to reach out at john at sabersforever.com. I'll answer any questions you have. It could even be about programming. If you are looking for commissions uh, and you haven't found them, they're on my website, www.sabersforever.com. I fulfill all KR Saber products and Corbanth products and Roman Props products. So if you don't see it on the website, just reach out to me via my email and I'll be sure to help you out. Until the next time, guys, may the Force be with you. May the force be with you. <laughs>